Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to build a summer capsule wardrobe. I filmed a similar video a few months back for a spring capsule wardrobe and had a lot of requests for a summer version. And so I have picked out around 20 key pieces that I think work together perfectly to create lots and lots of different summer outfits. Um, and they're all very timeless pieces. There's no kind of trend driven items. And so they should stay in your wardrobe for years and create lots of different timeless classic outfits. Um, I will try and link everything below, but as you can imagine, some of these pieces have been in my wardrobe for quite some time. And so if they're not available anymore, then I will try and find some really good alternatives to link in the description box. Um, if you do enjoy the video and you haven't already, I would love it if you could subscribe and give it a little thumbs up if you enjoy it. And I will also pop my Instagram up on the screen if you would like to follow me over there for daily outfit inspo. But let's get going with the video. Okay, so we'll start off with the basics. And obviously, it wouldn't be a summer capsule wardrobe without a basic white vest top. This one is just from Topshop, but obviously you can get them from pretty much anywhere. Um, I like this because it's quite a lightweight one. It kind of hangs quite nice and loose. Um, but obviously this is great on its own with shorts or jeans, um, but equally works really well underneath shirts and blazers in the summer as well. Um, I just went for white because for me, that's kind of the color I reach for the most in the summer. Um, but it goes without saying that you could probably do with white, black, and maybe even a nude as well. Another basic vest top, but this one is in a slightly different style. It's kind of like a fine knit um, fabric. It's from Mango. Um, and I went for a kind of neutral color in this one because again, I feel like a, a good sort of beigey brown neutral works really well with a lot of these pieces. Um, great for layering, but also great on its own. You could dress this up in the evening, I feel like, because it is a fine knit fabric, it would also work really well of an evening with some kind of chunky gold jewelry, um, but equally just looks great paired with jean shorts or jeans and sandals as well. And then for me, another kind of basic vest top style piece that I reach for a lot in the summer are these slinky bodies. This one is actually from Misguided, um, but I feel like Zara definitely do a lot of different colors in them. And they're just a really lovely flattering shape. And again, slightly more dressy than your standard black vest top. Um, work really well with high-waisted trousers, with jeans, um, and yeah, great for the evening as well. And then the final sort of vest top option that I just pulled out to show you, just as a more kind of like elevated, just a bit more of a special look than a plain white vest top, is this kind of cream vest top style top <laughs> from And Other Stories. And I just like the tortoiseshell buckle detail on these. On this, I feel like um, it just yeah it gives a slightly more dressy option to a white vest top, but works in the same way. You could layer this underneath shirts, but would look great with jeans or linen trousers. Um, yeah, these are great. And they also come in a few different colors as well. I think this comes in black, camel, and the cream. Okay, moving on to t-shirts, because obviously it would not be a summer capsule wardrobe without a classic white t-shirt. And I went for this one from Everlane, because I have actually spoken about this in some recent videos, but this is the most lightweight, airy, super comfortable summer t-shirt that you could possibly get. It's super fine, really flowy, feels really lovely on the skin. Um, and I think for a capsule wardrobe, this is a really, really great option. Um, I also pulled out the same style of t-shirt from Everlane, but in this kind of beigey brown color. Um, and obviously I would probably pull out one in black, but I think I was trying to keep it to the minimum. So I went for um, white and beige because these are more the colors that I personally reach for in summer. Um, but, and, and actually a bit of a disclaimer, a lot of these pieces are quite neutrals, um, blues, beiges, whites, creams, because I think personally they work really well together to create a capsule wardrobe. And for me, I would then introduce colors in other pieces that aren't necessarily the key pieces, like floral dresses and, I don't know, bright colored blazers and different pieces like that. But I feel like these are, these are the basics. Um, but yeah, these are just really great lightweight t-shirts and come in lots of different colors. Um, I've actually got one in like a lovely pale blue. Um, yeah, just great pieces. Um, moving on to shirts. And again, I have just kept it to a minimum and pulled out two shirts that I reach for a lot in the summer. Um, first of all, 
a classic linen shirt you cannot go wrong with a white linen shirt in the summer i feel like this is definitely my most worn piece um and just i don't want to kind of repeat myself because obviously a few of these pieces were featured in the spring capsule wardrobe and obviously uh, a lot of your items from your spring capsule wardrobe would then be pulled over into your um, summer capsule wardrobe as well um so i did just keep it to a minimum with two but yeah definitely linen shirt or a white cotton shirt or both they're just my most worn piece um did i say that this one was from everlane it's from everlane um yeah really really lovely but again h&m have got some really lovely white linen shirts oh and in fact i must just mention that i've got a beautiful kind of beige linen shirt from amazon which is under 20 pounds um, and i'm pretty sure it also comes in white as well so if you're looking for a really affordable option for a linen shirt then i definitely recommend the amazon one i'll insert a picture of it and link it below um but yeah i was trying to keep it to the bare minimum and for me white is just up there um and then also i pulled out a super lightweight blue and white striped shirt because like i mentioned in the spring capsule wardrobe video this goes with so many pieces very summery could be worn open over the top of like denim shorts and a white vest top or could be tucked into white jeans linen trousers blue jeans um and tied in a knot i just think something like this super lightweight is perfect for summer and one of those pieces that you will wear year out year after year well like everything here you'd wear it year after year and it's not going to go out of style and then i just pulled out one super lightweight jumper option because obviously being in england it does still get a little bit chilly even in the summer um, and especially in the evening so i went for this fine knit cashmere jumper and i would style this in the same kind of way as i would wear t-shirts on a chillier day i would wear this with um, denim shorts with jeans with linen trousers um, but equally you could also pop this over the top of one of the shirts it would work really well um, even over the top of like a dress if you were wearing a dress of an evening and you want to just pop this around your shoulders and then pop it on over the top of the dress um, just as an extra layer I think it works quite nicely like that um, just a really versatile piece I went for a pale grey because like I said, it works really well with all of these different colours. For outerwear, again, I've tried to keep it to a minimum and I've just pulled out two pieces. First up, a lightweight blazer. This one is a cotton and linen blend. So it's super lightweight, perfect for summer. Um, I went for this pale, baby kind of ecru colour because it works really well with everything here and a very summery colour. Um, but I was very tempted to add a black blazer in because I feel like a black blazer is a capsule wardrobe piece all year round. Um, so I feel like that kind of goes without saying. And for summer, a nice light colour is perfect. perfect. Um, this one is from Everlane. I'm pretty sure it's sold out now, but I have seen some really lovely ones. Mango have got a gorgeous linen blazer. Um, Zara's got a really lovely one as well and H&M have also got a gorgeous beige blazer it's not linen it's actually the same as my white H&M one I'll insert a picture of the white one it's the same as that but it also comes in beige as well and it is a really lovely lightweight fabric perfect for summer um, and a great price I think it was $24.99 so lightweight linen blazer and then the other option I pulled out something a little bit different was a black leather jacket and I feel like this works really well kind of of an evening as well. So if you're wearing a dress and you wanted an extra layer for the evening, it works well. Um, but equally, it looks great with denim shorts, with trousers, with jeans, over the top of the shirts. Um, it's just a really great piece and something a little bit different. I thought that these two worked really well. They're kind of like um, ticked all boxes for outerwear options for summer. Um, obviously, depending on where you are. I mean, I'm, I'm going on english temperatures but i'm some people's summer will be a lot hotter and there'll be no way you'd even consider wearing a leather jacket but it does still get a little bit nippy in england in the summer moving on to dresses and i could have pulled out so many different options for summer dresses but again i tried to keep in mind that it's a capsule wardrobe and i wanted to pull out pieces that will work year after year after year and can be styled in different ways as well, dressed up, dressed down. Um, so a black maxi dress, it kind of goes without saying, this is just a great piece to have 
in your summer wardrobe just a really easy throw on piece that looks great with sandals but you could equally belt it in and pop it on with some heels to dress it up a little bit more you could wear chunky gold jewelry to elevate the look a little bit more this would maybe like a slick bun and big earrings and a red lip on holiday would look really lovely but it would also look cute with a big basket bag and sandals in the summer in England as well. Um, this one is from Amazon. It does also come in beige and I think in white as well. I went for black just because I thought it was a good option, but I think a white maxi dress is also gorgeous in the summer um, and a great addition to a capsule wardrobe. Um, and then the other option I went for for a dress is this one from And Other Stories. I pulled this one out because it's new in my wardrobe and I've been wearing it quite a lot recently. But I would say out of all of the pieces that I've pulled out, this is probably the most kind of trend driven piece in the fact that the style, this style I've sort of seen quite a lot over the past year or so. Um, but I think in general, just a cute easy white or cream or beige mini dress is one of those pieces that you can just chuck on with sandals or wedges and you just know it's going to look good um so i would again style this with flats and a basket bag or with heels and dress it up a little bit more of an evening with jewelry and a little clutch bag and it works really well both ways um, and it also comes in a few different colours as well. And then for my third option for a dress, which I nearly didn't, I sort of pulled it out and then I put it back again because I thought it's not really essential, but it is a really great addition to a capture wardrobe and it is a linen shirt dress. So this is great on its own, styled with a belt to kind of cinch the waist in and sandals. Um, but equally, it's a great bikini cover up when you're on holiday, you can chuck this over the top of swimwear and it still looks really nice. Um, and again, you could style this with jeans, you could style this with denim shorts, with linen trousers. You could even use this in the same way as you'd use the linen shirt and maybe tuck it in or tie it in a knot and have it as a linen shirt as well. So it sort of doubles up as both pieces. And then I just pulled out one play suit. I was tempted to pull out kind of a couple of jumpsuits because I also think jumpsuits are great options, but I kind of covered that in the spring capsule wardrobe. So I thought, as this is summer, I'm just gonna go with one play suit. And this is the one that I think I probably wore the most last summer. It is a white linen jumpsuit, uh, play suit from And Other Stories. Super simple, square neckline, thick straps, cinches in at the waist with a little tie but you can change that up to a belt um, and just one of those pieces that is so easy to just put in put on all in one go and it just looks really lovely but again you could dress this up with a red lip and a heel for more of an evening look as well you could change up the belt um, and it would also look lovely maybe styled with this blazer over the top and sandals or even trainers um, yeah, I just think that this style is very timeless, very classic, um, and just very perfect for a summer capsule wardrobe. Okay, moving on to shorts and trousers, and of course it would not be a summer capsule wardrobe for me personally without a pair of denim shorts. I wear these so much, like my go-to outfit in the summer is a pair of shorts, sandals, t-shirt, and a blazer. Um, I just love how classic it is, I love how easy it, I love how kind of like effortlessly cool it looks and how easy it is to just chuck together. Um, so I've pulled out a few different pairs of denim shorts, but for me the kind of, this style is sort of my go-to pair. These are from Topshop, they are the Topshop mum jeans and these are actually a size 10. I size up in Topshop denim shorts because I find they run small and I would rather pull them in on the waist with a belt and have them a little bit looser around the legs than be super tight. I think denim shorts when they're super tight look quite unflattering. Um, these are just a really classic kind of mid-blue wash. They've got the little detail on the back. Um, really lovely cut, really lovely shape. I wear those a lot. I also pulled out a slightly darker pair from Everlane. These kind of like more of a mid-blue wash and they just give a slightly more classic look. I feel like they dress up maybe slightly smarter look to the Topshop ones. And these are also more of a mid-rise as well if you prefer a mid-rise. Um, and then if you're not a fan of short, well, if you're not a fan of short shorts but you still like the idea of a denim short, I also pulled out these ones which are also from Everlane. They're kind of like a mid-thigh denim short. And I feel like they give a good, you can still kind of achieve the same sort of look 
but they just kept cover up a little bit more leg maybe slightly more of a mature look um everlane also have just brought out a a-line style denim short so kind of in between this length and this length and they sort of flare out a little bit on the leg they will actually be in my next everlane video i think so i'll show you how they look on but again they're a really great option if you're looking for a slightly wider fit on the leg but not kind of going for something this long um i thought i'd just show you a few different options but for me honestly denim shorts are something i could not live without in the summer next up are a pair of black shorts and these give a slightly smarter look they're perfect for during the day with a linen shirt um, but you could also really dress these up you could style them with the slinky black body and a pair of heels in the evening for a slightly more of an elevated look and they do come with this sort of wicker style belt but you can remove it and you could wear them without the belt or you could wear them with your own black belt to make them a little bit more dressy of an evening um, they're lovely and lightweight cotton so they're quite loose and comfortable and high waisted as well and then I also have the same pair in the beige as well and again these look great style during the day with linen shirts with t-shirts tucked in um, but also look lovely in the evening with more of a kind of fitted body tucked into them I wore the I got this pair last summer and wore them lots so I went for the black ones this summer because I thought I'd get a lot of wear out of those as well. But I just think any kind of light coloured, beigey, browny, kind of ecru coloured, um, high-waisted short, well, not necessarily high-waisted, but like lightweight short are a really great addition to a capsule wardrobe. I love a pair of, um, I've got some linen style shorts from, I think they're from Mango. And they also work styled in a really similar way as well. Oh, and then one thing I haven't actually pulled out that I do want to quickly mention um, are like a pair of jogger style shorts. I reach for them so, so much in the summer. Just so comfortable, look great styled with t-shirts. Um, just very easy. I mean, I say they look great. They're just a very easy piece that I wear a lot. I guess that's kind of taking it onto loungewear a little bit more. And I've kept this slightly away from loungewear. Um, but they are something that I wear so, so much. I've got a cream pair. I'll insert, I'll insert a picture of them. Um, but I think you could even dress them up as well. You could wear them with maybe a t-shirt and then maybe a blazer over the top if you wanted to elevate the look slightly. I feel like that would definitely... I mean, blazers smarten everything up, don't they? Okay, moving on to jeans. And first up, a pair of bleached denim jeans. And for me, that's kind of like... If I'm wearing jeans in the summer nine times out of ten it will be a bleach wash or white um i pulled out two pairs of bleach denim jeans to show you first of all these ones from stradivarius i got these last year and i have worn them so much they are under 20 pounds they are a really really great fit they're a really flattering shape and they're super comfortable as well so they've got quite a lot of stretch in them and they do come in a few different washes as well but like i said bleach denim in the summer I just think looks so lovely um, and then the other pair I wanted to mention because I think that these are really great if you're looking to spend a little bit more on a really lovely quality pair of bleach jeans for the summer these Levi 501 crops um, they're just gorgeous really really lovely wash really lovely cut and fit they're a little less they, i think these have got one percent elastane in them so they've only got a very very small amount of stretch but they've just got a really lovely cut to them they fit really nicely um and they also look nice dressed up with heels as well they're just yeah gorgeous pair of bleached jeans next up are a pair of white jeans these are the cheeky jeans from everlane um they're in a cropped length i'm wearing them in a 26 crop and they're kind of like in between sort of a mum jean and a straight leg jean which i think is perfect for summer um don't get me wrong i also love a pair of white skinny jeans but like i said i was trying to narrow it down and i thought that these are probably my most worn in the summer um and they work really well again with shirts tucked in but also look nice with vest tops and you could wear these with heels as well you could maybe roll them up at the bottom and wear them with a pair of heels with a slightly different look um the denim's really soft and comfortable and yeah just a great pair of summer jeans and i'm pretty sure that these are the last item 
that I wanted to mention for a capsule wardrobe, although I'm sure I've probably missed something out. And if I have, do leave it in the comments. If there's something that I've missed out and you think, no, that's definitely um, vital for a capsule wardrobe. Oh, actually saying that, a denim jacket that is something that I was going to mention I mentioned it in my um, spring wardrobe uh, spring capsule wardrobe video I do not own a good denim jacket yet I haven't managed to find the perfect one but I do think that for a spring or a summer capsule wardrobe a denim jacket is up there with one of those items um, anyway the final piece that I wanted to mention are a pair of lightweight linen trousers these ones are from H&M you probably saw them in a recent H&M video um, but they are just a really really lovely pair of comfortable linen trousers um, they're, the, they're the perfect mix between comfort and still looking smart at the same time they're high-waisted they've got a little bit of a pleat down the front so they give quite a smart look um, but they also feel like pyjama bottoms on because they're lovely and lightweight um, and they look great with sandals, with trainers, with heels, with shirts, with um, like a body tucked in. You could wear these with the black body and a pair of black heels for an evening look. Um, they're just a really great pair of linen trousers. I also featured some linen trousers in my And Other Stories video recently, which are a very, very similar style to these. I'll insert a cutaway of them and leave them linked as well. Um, they were slightly higher quality, being from And Other Stories, they're a little bit thicker, a little bit more like tailored, and they've got, they come with a little waist belt as well, so they're a really great option. But um, lightweight beige or cream linen trousers are perfect for a summer capsule wardrobe. Okay, moving on to footwear, and I've just picked out five pairs of shoes that I think work really well with all of these outfits, and that I tend to reach for the most in the summer. So starting off with sandals, I've gone for a pair of black sandals and tan sandals, because I think that, that was, they are the colors I tend to go for the most. Tan sandals in particular go with all of these outfits, um, but a nice pair of black sandals also work really well with a lot of the outfits. And I just think you can't go wrong with tan and black. Next up, a pair of white trainers. I went for my beiges because I just love the simple style of these. And again, they work really well with lots of these different outfits and give a completely different look, a much more casual look to what a sandal would give as well. I also pulled out a pair of black leather loafers as well because I feel like they give a much smarter look to um, the sandals or obviously the trainers. Um, although saying that maybe coming into summer, a backless pair of loafers might work slightly better. Um, these ones are from And Other Stories and they are just a really lovely, comfortable pair of leather loafers but obviously you've got the gucci ones if you're looking to spend a little bit more the backless gucci ones always look amazing with lots of different outfits um, and yeah again just to just give a different look to what a trainer or a sandal would and then i also think that a comfortable pair of heels are a great addition to a summer capsule wardrobe and i went for these ones because i feel like they work really well during the day or the evening um, the fact that they're kind of like a mid-height nice chunky heel so you could wear these during the day with jeans and a t-shirt and a blazer um, but then they would also work, work really well with some of the dresses or kind of trousers and a little vest top in the evening as well. I also like the fact that they are in like an off-white kind of cream, so they're not as, a little bit more subtle than a bright white. Um, but I think as another option, maybe this in a tan would be perfect as well for summer. Um, I do briefly want to mention the footwear that I've got on today, which is my Birkenstocks. Um, if you're looking, I don't know that these are necessary for a capsule wardrobe, but a very comfortable option. I feel like a pair of Birkenstocks are a good addition. And again, styled with jeans, I think they look quite cool, like jeans and a t-shirt and a pair of Birkenstocks. I like the way they look, but I know that they're obviously not for everyone. So um, yeah, I thought I'd just give them an extra little mention. And then the only other thing that I wanted to mention are bags. And I haven't actually pulled out any bags to show you, but I will insert some cutaways. And if I had to narrow it down to three bags for a summer capsule wardrobe, um, first of all, I would go for a big kind of basket bag or straw bag or that sort of vibe. So maybe something similar to the one I got from Amazon recently, or something like a big straw structured basket bag. I always think they look lovely, like the Loewe ones, something like that. Or alternatively, more of a, um, similar to the one that I got from And Other Stories as well, that kind of beachy, summery bag as well. So I'd go for something like that, extra large that you can take to the beach with you. Um, option two, I'd just go for a very classic black bag. So probably a mid-size that would work well for 
during the day and the evening and for me I'd usually go with gold hardware as well because I wear a lot of gold jewellery so maybe something like my Polen bag um, I tend to use that during the day and the evening and I think it works really well both ways um, and then option number three would be similar to the black one but in maybe a beige or a taupe or a nude or something like that would that would work with some of the lighter outfits as well um, and yeah I think that would be all three bags ticked for me um, I'm gonna leave it there I could go on to jewelry I could go on to sunglasses um, but perhaps I'll cover that in another video um, but yeah I really really hope you enjoyed the video if you did please do give it a thumbs up if you've got anything at all that you would add to a capsule wardrobe that I missed out do leave a comment and let me know um, and yeah thank you so so much for watching and hopefully I will see you again in my next video bye